beloved, good morning, good day, God bless you. I am here today to encourage you, to make you to get out of that mood that you're in. I'm here today to give you the message that God gave me to give to you. He said, Marilyn, there is a brother out there, there is a sister out there that need to be encouraged today. So he sent me to tell you today, at this hour, that sometimes it is okay for us to have somebody to push us a little bit. So we must look to God for that push that we need. We must ask God for the push that we need. It is not easy to get it, but it's very important that we look to the Father from where cometh our help to get this push that we need. Sometimes things appear to be against us. And it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes we feel like God has forgotten us. We feel that God does not care for us anymore. Sometimes. We feel like God is not watching us anymore. We feel like he has taken his eyes from us. Do you feel that way? I know you do. I know you do sometimes. You feel that God has forgotten you. That you have been praying, you have been fasting. But you cannot seem to get a result. You cannot seem to know what is happening to you. He is actually watching you. My brother, my sister, my mother, my father at this time. He is actually looking at you. He's been looking at you. When you are a child of God, do not expect everything to be bed of roses. When you are a child of God, do not expect everything to be bed of roses. Do not expect that you will get up in a fine hotel with, with a BMW, somebody driving you every morning. You live in the luxury. That is what we expect that when we are children of God, that this is what is to happen. But God is saying to you this day, this morning, that it is vice versa. He said, why? Because when God calls you and when God calls me, he calls us to destiny and not ease. When God called me, he called you. He called you to a destiny call that you must answer. He did not call you so that you can live a luxurious life. He called you so that you will defeat giants. He called you so that you will part the red seas in your life. He called you so that when you are discouraged, when you feel like giving up in life, he can say, be strong and know that I am your God. Be still and know that I can never forget you. He said that to you. I'm going to be ending soon. But God said to tell you, look to him for the little push. Look at him for the push that you need. Look to him for the strength that you need. The strength that you do not have. That the enemy is trying to, the enemy actually sees your strength. But he's trying to play on your strength so that it becomes weak. So I'm here today to tell you, you need to look at three courageous people so they can be motivating, so that they can be motivating your spiritual mind. I want you to look at Moses. I want you to look at Joshua. And I want you to look at David. What happened to David? He was a small boy, tiny boy, shepherd boy. But then, what happened? He challenged and defeated a giant. The situation that you're facing could be the giant. That uncircumcised giant. That uncircumcised Philistine that is standing before you. But God said, even though the Philistine come to you with sword and spear and javelin. You tell the Philistine that I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts. In the name of the most high God. And that giant, that situation, it will be removed. That's the push you need from God. What about Moses? 
he liberated the Israelites. They were in the forest, they were in the wilderness. But then God said that the armies are coming. He saw the army, Pharaoh's armies coming. He began to think, what will I do? How can I cross this Red Sea? We are defeated already. I need to give up. But God said to him, you stretch that staff and you will see the dry ground so that you and your people can cross. He did not believe it at first, but at the end he believed it. And when he stretched his route, he stretched the staff. The Bible says the seed opened and there was dry ground, the miraculous work of God. What is that situation that looks like a red seed in front of you that God is not able to handle? He is able to handle it. He is able to part the red seed for your sake. He has already parted it. Okay. He has already parted it. I do not want you to be discouraged today. I do not want you to be feeling downhearted. Because God has not forgotten you. The sea is the biggest water. And he opened. He opened it. And the people crossed. You might be at a crossroad right now. But God still loves you. God still cares about you. And he's about to open the red sea about to open the rest scene. It's about to make you to cross over. Exodus 14, 16, this happened. The sea was open. And Joshua, what happened with Joshua? In the book of Joshua 1 verses 9, God said to Joshua, have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Have I not? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Mama, Papa, this morning, this message is for you. Sister, brother, children, this message is for you. God said, look to him for the push you need. God bless you. This is what I came to tell you today. Again, Minister Muriel and Doka, God bless you. Bless you. I leave you with the book of Exodus 14 16, story of Moses. I leave you with the book of Joshua 1 verses 9, the story of Joshua. And then I leave you with Isaiah 17 45. You come to me with a soul, and I come to you with the name of the Most High God. Be blessed. Until next time, I love you so much. And I